I'm Marcy McDonald, the online course doctor, and I'm here to help you improve your online courses by unpacking what works, what doesn't work, and how to put it all together to make outstanding courses. So today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how you use the teleprompter so that it sounds natural. You've got a few options for a teleprompter system. Now you could use the really high end full screen teleprompters like we used at the great courses and they use in professional studios, but that's out of the price range for most of us. You can also use the Prompt Smart app or some similar app on your phone. The Prompt Smart is the only one to my knowledge that's voice activated. The fact that you're here taking this course with me tells me that you want to teach your subject matter so well that students will never forget where they learned it. And you can also just use your laptop or your tablet by putting your script in large font, as large as you need it to be, and putting it on your laptop and then scrolling it simply by using your mouse to move it up as you go along. So those are your basic tools. The real question is, how do you work that teleprompter system, whatever it is you're using, so that it sounds really natural. It's actually incredibly simple. It takes a little bit of practice, and I've mentioned this before, but now I want to give you a little demonstration of how it actually works. So I used for my course that I'm, I've been recording, it's now in editing, I used the little parrot teleprompter rig with my cell phone. But for the interviews that I'm doing right now, the series on course creators who are doing incredible work and having super success. I'm using my laptop with my script on, on the screen and I just scroll it up as I showed you. Whichever system you use, you still have to vary your language. So most people think of reading from a script as reading, right? So you're just going through the lines and not really pausing, not giving any dramatic flair to it because you're reading. That's why you have to practice. And what you do when you're practicing is to change just a few words here and there and pause, give it dramatic intention. So you have times where you're quieter and you have times when you're louder. And every action, whether it's changing a single word or making a pause, keeps you more involved and engaged in your script so that it feels more natural. So what I want to do now is just demonstrate for you how easy it is for you to change a word or two and, and for you to really understand how this works. So I'm going to share my screen and deliver a bit of my script to you so that you can see, first of all, what it's like when I just read it. And then I'll do the same passage again only with some variety in it. So hang on, let's set that up. Okay then, now you can see my script for my course up on the laptop. And what I'm going to do, as I said, is I'll read it just as if I were reading and not delivering. So that's the difference we're talking about here, reading a script versus delivering it. And it's the delivery that makes it natural. My second goal is to teach you exactly how you nail that course concept so that building a course is 100% easier and more effective. Well, how do we do this? I've taught this same method to Harvard professors and meditation instructors. Okay, you get the gist. You may have noticed I've got a series of a bunch of dots, periods, that I'm using to mark out my paragraph breaks because when you're scrolling or using a teleprompter of any kind, every time you have a break, then the teleprompter, if it's voice activated, is going to basically stop and wait until you get started again. If you've got a, an expensive rig, then you've got a teleprompter operator who is also trying to pay attention to you and notice when you're stopping for a break. But the more space you have, the harder it is for you to see what's coming up, and that makes it even harder to be natural. So let's take this same section, and I'm going to, again, read right to the same point, but this time I'll be changing just a couple words, and I hope that you can hear that it 
involves me more, so it sounds different. My second goal is to teach you exactly how you're going to nail that course concept because I want you to discover that building a course is 100% easier and more effective with this method. Well, how exactly are we going to do this? I've taught the same method to Harvard professors and to meditation instructors, and unpacking that for you will be how you'll see exactly how we'll do this. Okay then, that was pretty simple. I'm going to show you on the screen where I followed the script and where I didn't follow the script so that you can just get an idea for how few words you have to change. It's easiest to change adjectives, adverbs, and transitions. Now, if I'd had a voice activated prompter, it would just stop where I went off script. So it's very important that when you get back on script, you pick up with the exact words where you left off or a couple sentences down because that's what's going to enable the teleprompter to follow you. All right then, that's it for today's tips. Don't forget right below this video is a sign up so that you can get on the wait list for my upcoming course. I hope you'll sign up. I hope to see you there. Thanks. See you next time.